Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from London. We've had a lot of news from Birmingham yesterday and there is so many stories to get through in London. This is about the murder of Hakim Silla, who was murdered by Vladimir Nachev in Hillingdon. He was at a youth offender centre on November the 7th last year. He has just been found guilty of his murder. He stabbed him through the chest in an argument in the actual centre. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update you because we didn't cover this story initially on what initially happened. And then we're going to talk about what happened in the trial. The original police report on the murder said that an 18-year-old victim was stabbed in the chest. He was taken to hospital but pronounced dead at 5.30pm on the 7th of November last year in the Uxbridge area of West London. A second male, also in his teens, suffered a knife injury to his ear. His injuries are not life-threatening and a 17-year-old boy was arrested on suspicion of murder and is being questioned at a police station. And it happened at the Hillingdon Civic Centre and this is where they house the Youth Offending Service. Vladimir was from West End Lane in Hayes. He left immediately after the stabbing and hid the 25 centimetre Rambo style knife in Woodland near his home in Hayes. He has now been convicted after a three week trial at Oldsworth Crown Court. A statement from Hakim's mother, Saramba, and the rest of the family read that Hakim was stolen from us in an unprovoked, brutal, malicious, and cowardly attack. The murder of Hakim has torn our family apart, and in addition, the senseless attack on Hakim is a painful reminder of the knife crime epidemic that continues to rage our society. Vladimir claimed he was attacked by Hakim in self defense, and he only intended to stab him in the arm rather than the chest. However, the court heard that he attacked his victim with a knife on a different occasion and had also sent him abusive messages. Hakim told his family that in May he had been punched by Vladimir after they got into a fight over a girl. On September the 2nd 2019 Vladimir sent a video from his phone that showed him threatening Hakim with a knife. Two weeks later Hakim was attacked in a subway in Harlington suffering a knife wound to his arm and another injury that required surgery. Hakim told police that he was attacked from behind and could not provide a description of the suspect. Analysis of Vlad's mobile phone by homicide detectives revealed that he had sent a message to a friend shortly after Hakim was fatally stabbed and he implied in the message that he carried out the previous attack. Vladimir said, I'm going to jail. I chefed him up, meaning stabbed. Hacks again inside YOT, the youth offending service. Vladimir had already had previous beef with him. But what this also shows is that when they attacked each other, they wasn't cooperating with the police. But it would also show that there's a history between the two. And in this youth offending service, they would definitely have known about these two not getting along. They was on a knife crime awareness course. And both Vlad and Hakim are turned up with concealed weapons. So like try and actually let this settle in. They're both on an anti-knife crime awareness course. And they're bringing knives to the awareness course. So clearly no one in that centre had any idea to the extent these kids were involved in knife crime. Or to the actual seriousness of it. They didn't like each other for a significant period of time. And they had previous altercations. They were carrying weapons mainly probably to protect themselves. The search history on Vladimir's mobile phone shortly before the fatal stabbing demonstrates that he was a very dangerous individual. He was intent on carrying out a violent attack. Hakim's death is another tragic example of a young life lost at the hands of another young man. In the month of October 2019, there were searches on Vladimir's phone of fatal stabbings, teen killers, moments before teen killers stabbed to death, and also GBH Section 18, uh, quadruple stabbings, bail for murder, teenager sentenced for stabbing, as well as searches for prisons and metropolitan police sites, including the one that covers the Hayes Town Centre. And the 3rd and the 4th of November, he had multiple searches for knives, including hunting knives, zombie knives, swords, samurais and knife boxes. Vlad was found guilty of wounding with intent against another teenager in the same incident. 
so this story is just a mess. It's a whole mess. The whole system in, that is involved with these children has let them down in so many different ways. For example, I've recently been speaking to a guy called Farron Paul. He's from London. He does a brilliant job of working with the young kids around the area. He actually goes around collecting knives and weapons. And recently he did a video where he spoke about the fact that people are not actually wondering where are these kids getting the knives from. And in this story, it shows you where the kids are getting the knives from. They're getting them on Google. They're searching for them. They're buying them on someone's credit card or their own and using them with devastating consequences. Over the last year and a half, two years, I've been taking a lot of knives off the street. But my one burning question has been the same. Where are these children getting these knives from? But look at this. I took this from a 14 year old. Where did a 14 year old get something like this from? I mean, did he sit down in the shed and make it like a blacksmith? I don't think so. I feel like the government's got more control and care about the sales of alcohol and cigarettes than they do things like this. I took this from a 16 year old. Where would a 16 year old get this from? Now, what I'm trying to say is this. If we've got all-time high and unprecedented rate of murder and violence in our communities, don't you feel like the government and the retailers should be doing a bit more to make sure stuff like this ain't seeping into our communities? All I'm going to say, the government and the retailers, you have blood on your hands because you're allowing the youngsters to get these kind of weapons and then turn them against each other, yeah? Anyway, man, peace out. So I've been speaking to Farron very recently actually, coincidentally before this story, and I'm going to be doing something with him in the very near future. I suggest that you go and follow him online as well. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel because he's going to be doing, a, he does a lot of good stuff and he needs to get the credit that he deserves. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Hakeem. And before I finish, actually I want to mention something that Tiny Boo said on Twitter today about when people talk about what the kids need and they talk about youth centers and the very basic things that they think and the assumptions they make when it shows that youth centers now and the even youth offending centers they're not safe places for kids necessarily you'd have to have immense security and also let's just try and be a bit more creative what else can we do to be able to help the kids to come off road to be able to prevent them from wanting to become involved in this these two kids were sat in a youth offending center with weapons ready to ready to fight each other a, a minute there's other kids there now somewhere doing the same thing with the same mentality so I really appreciate it if you drop some suggestions, something a bit more creative, another idea as to how we can try and help these kids. So I appreciate you joining me for this story. There's plenty more news on the way. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very soon. Peace.